Greetings, 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 brothers and sisters, greetings. First and foremost, we must acknowledge our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, for allowing this word to come out, man. And um, um, I haven't come up with the title yet for this word, but um, as I flow through the Spirit, the appropriate title um, will come to mind. Brothers and sisters, man, um, today, man, I just want to um, speak to those that have went through and going through a tough time. Those that's going through a hardship, those that's going through life's aggravations, those that have um, been having a tough time. I know some of you guys that tune in to the channel, um, I know that. A lot of things I speak about, preach about, teach about is relatable. And so I really hope that um, you guys are edified um, by today's word. Today is so-called Sunday, the first day of the week. And um, before I get into this word, I just want to say this, man. Today is such a beautiful day. Today is such a beautiful day. Sometimes in life, man, we can go through so much adversity. We can go through so much of aggravation of life, so much hardship that we'll invest all our time and emotions into that particular season and we'll be blinded from the few opportunities where the Lord will allow you to be in the presence of a great day. I mean, the sun is out. You got a slight breeze. The spirit is right. The vibration is right. You don't get that every day. But every once in a while, the Lord will lay it out for you. The Lord will lay out a beautiful day for you. A day where you can get away from all your problems, all your aggravations, all your frustrations. And just be able to be in that particular space of rejoicing in that particular space of happiness, man. And today, one of those days, man. Today, I feel so great, man. And it just, you know, like I said, man, in life, please understand this, brothers and sisters, in life, you have your highs, your lows, your in-betweens. In other words, you're going to have days where you can't miss everything you touch, everything that's happening with you. Going to go all according to plan and be and, and, and then some. Right. And then you will have the total opposite of that where you in the bottom, like it just nothing can't seem to go right. You going through it no matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter how you pray. And it just don't seem like things going to get better for you. Right. And then you'll have that season where you're in the middle, where you're maintaining. In the middle is where you want to be at, brothers and sisters, but that's not reality. In this life that we live, you're going to deal with all three seasons. You're going to have your lows. You're going to have your highs. You're going to have your in-betweens. When you having a tough time and when you experiencing experiencing your lows right that's when you'll miss a day like today you'll miss a day like today where it's almost like the perfect day and what i'm saying to you brothers and sisters it will be such a such a shame to miss out on a beautiful day like today man in Psalms 118 and 24, it reads, This is the day which the Lord, who we know as Yahweh, have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Listen to that, man. Today is one of those days. Today is one of those days, brothers and sisters, that the Lord have made. So we are to rejoice. We are to be happy. We are to be prosperous. And be glad in it. Be cheerful. 
So again, brothers and sisters, man, if you're going through a tough time, take a pause, put it to the side and just rejoice in the moment that we in. I'm telling you, man. Let me say this to you, brothers. Again, Psalms 118 and 24. This is the day which the Lord have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it, man. That's a powerful scripture, brothers and sisters. Now, let me let me let me let me paint this picture, man, as I get ready to close out this word. Right. Let's say. You feel in a certain type of way, somebody got you feeling a certain type of way. Let's say um, you feel in resentment towards someone. Right. Let's say you got a beef with somebody. Let's say you have a high level of resentment for that person because they have wronged you right if you can find it in your heart to be so kind and forgive that person guess what that does that allows you to relieve release you of all that bad energy that allows that that allows to release you of that bad energy that bad emotion and be free and be free once you free and you in the presence of a day like today man you're gonna be it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be great therapy for you if you can forgive someone that have wronged you you don't even understand how powerful and how much relief that'll be on your spirit how much relief that'll be on your emotions and just you don't understand how you free once you free of all the bondages of life that aggravates you that that allows you to 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 to, to have a low worthy of self have a low worthy of self-esteem going through situations where you don't feel too good about yourself because the circumstances have gotten the best of you you could be so caught up into that when a day such as the day presents itself, you will miss it. And I'm telling you, man, today is such a beautiful day. All praises to Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, for allowing this day to be such a prosperous, such a beautiful day, man. Just because the sun is out don't necessarily mean it's sunny outside. Just because when it rain outside don't necessarily mean it's a rainy day. But today, on this so-called Sunday, the sun is out. It's a slight breeze. It's a spirit of peace. It's a spirit of love. It's happening. And if you can get away from all life distractions and partake in this day and rejoice and be glad you're gonna be you're gonna feel so much better than you are right now man that's all i got for you brothers and sisters man again psalms 118 and 24 reads this is the day which the lord have made we will rejoice and be glad in it man powerful scripture man i'm telling you Again, brothers and sisters, man, love on those that love you. Love on those that hate you. Pray for those that hate on you. Pray for those that wish ill will on you. Pray for those that want to see your downfall. Forgive them, for they know not what they say, for they know not what they do. Life is short, brothers and sisters. The Bible says, don't worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow worry about itself. Take advantage of the now moment. Take advantage of today. And according to Psalms 118 and 24, we shall rejoice and be glad in the day that the Lord have made like today. I hope you sincere brothers and sisters were truly 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 edified by this word 
and we give all praises, glory, and honor to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh, for allowing this word to come out. Shalom.